Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last time, we talked about what goodness is and what right and wrong are, what they are for God and for us. In short, the foundation of ethics. So now that we know what good is, what's evil? Well, evil is the opposite of good by every definition I've ever seen. So, since good is being like God in some way, evil is, of course, being unlike God in some way. But what's evil made of, exactly? Well, evil isn't really made of anything. It's a little hard to explain, but let me start with some more deductions. God isn't capable of falsehood. Therefore, he's not capable of lying. Since God has no lies, lies are evil. Back in episode 3, I said that lies are nothing but deliberate failures to convey clear and correct answers to our questions. Failures to teach the truth. In the same way, evil is a failure to be in some way good, a deprivation of goodness. Because of this, evil doesn't need to be made of anything, any more than the hole in a donut needs to be made of something. It's just a missing part, not a physical thing. However, let's not kid ourselves. Evil is a real factor in our lives, because our first moral obligation is to avoid it. I guess this shouldn't be a shock, that we have an obligation not to put holes in ourselves. Good, by definition, is something that's worth pursuing, and evil is a lack of things that are worth pursuing. This is why the basis of traditional ethics is, avoid evil and do good. Some people put those two the other way around, but I feel they should be listed with evil first, because it's more important to avoid evil than it is to do good. Otherwise, it would be acceptable to do evil so that good might come of it. That's not acceptable, of course. Now, how do we make ethical decisions? What line of reasoning can we use to figure out whether something is right or wrong? Well, there are two kinds of ethics that we need to practice. Ethics towards God, and ethics towards other human beings. I'd like to start with ethics about God, but I'm afraid I may have to save that for next time. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.